Good morning. What I'm going to do here is show you how to install one of these screen door handles. What I've started out doing is putting some tape here along the perimeter of the screen door on both sides. That's going to give me a nice better place to mark my location for drilling the holes. I closed my screen door and I realized my tape was back here on this edge which goes in behind the door jam, and it would have been completely hidden. So this is why it's a good idea to close your door to make sure that your desired mounting location is actually going to work. And we have the same thing over on this side. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a rough idea where I want this kind of want it in about the same location as on my other RV, which is about two inches up from this horizontal bar. So I kind of lay it out there, make a mark with my pen, and then I'll take a measurement here and then duplicate it over there. And then I'll get my locations for my mounting holes later. And what I'm going to use here is a square. And we are at exactly four and a half inches. Take a tape measure and measure the distance between your marks. So I'm going to start at the 2 inch mark, 25 inches, so we'll subtract 2 inches from that which will give us 23. I may actually go more like about 23 and 1 16th. So in the package there's two templates. They're duplicates of each other, so one of them you take it and reverse it like that. The purpose of these templates is to duplicate your measurement for those mounting holes. I'm going to tape one of these templates down to the table. Start at two inches. Why am I starting there? Because it's a more accurate than trying to go right from the end of the tape measure. Just want to make sure your pieces of paper are totally flat. Okay, we're good. Next thing we do is take our tube and center it. And then we carefully slide one of these end pieces on. get that one lined up and then slide this one down and get it lined up and the purpose of this whole exercise is to get the mounting locations for your holes back here put a small piece of tape to keep them in position because what we do next is rotate this bar over so that we can see the bottom of it and then we'll go ahead and drill our two holes I have center punches that I'll use to mark my hole And using a 1 8 inch drill bit, go ahead and drill your holes. I've taken the plastic handle off. And once you have your holes drilled, go ahead and slide your plastic end piece back on. And install your screw. our holes in the screen door. And I go ahead and uh, center punch my holes on the screen door. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I probably shouldn't have punched those twice because it kind of dented that quite a bit. And those spring-loaded center punches have quite a bit of force to them. And I'm going to do the other end just a little bit differently. I'm going to tighten this one down. And as I look at this, my marks aren't quite exactly where they need to be in relation to once I got all of this installed. So a better approach is probably to mark your width, assemble this, then come back and mark exactly where you want your holes. And same thing with these, you don't need to tighten them super tight. Just uh, tighten enough so that the handle is snug up against the door. And I'll come back over here and install my second screw. And this is exactly why I would use a different approach. Like I had just described a little bit ago as far as marking your height, then your width, then doing your holes after you get this all lined up because my bottom hole is not exactly where it really needs to be. So when I was marking it, my hand must have slipped and uh, slid the bar up some because that hole is basically completely invisible behind here. And I think I'm just going to have to re-drill it. Everything looks good, it's all snug. We are good to go. Much easier to close the door without the handle. You'd actually have to step out and grab hold of the handle on the door pull it closed. And in my other RV I always use this as a towel rack.